Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a bean bag in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. Let's give a color to it. Let's take a spear. So I can use a bigger spear. I can slightly rotate it. I can increase its sides over here. And I'll just convert to editable poly. Let's select the plane. I'll just give the name for this as bin bag. So let's select this. Go into animation, mass effects, rigid body, and let's set it as a static rigid body. So we'll make this as a static rigid body over here. Go over here, go into the shape type, and let's set it as original over here. Select this animation, mass effects, cloth, create M cloth, that's a mesh cloth. Now go into animation, mass effects, simulation, and let's give play simulation. So, as you can see, I have assigned a bit of cloth over here, but it's looking, you know, fluffy at the bottom. Alright, so animation, mass effects, simulation and reset the simulation. Let's slightly just push this up, slightly rotate this. I'll again go over here and I'll take a spear over here and I'll slightly shuffle this spear a bit over here. So animation, let's again go into this, I'll just delete this mesh cloth, animation, mass effects, cloth, create mesh cloth, animation, mass effects, rigid body and let's set it as dynamic rigid body, select this, so dynamic is a movable shape type as Okay, let's keep it as spear. Alright, so animation, mass effects, simulation and let's just play this. Let's see how it looks like. So, I'll just select this and I'll if you want you can just convert to editable poly over here that can also be done now I'll select this element I'll go into this and you have option enable balloon behavior you can slightly increase this and convert to editable poly I'll just delete this element over here so let's select this convert to editable poly again I'll go into the freeform option over here I'll just go over here into the freeform option and I have option that's called relax so I'll increase the brush size and I can just relax all of this element okay so you can use a bit of uh, push and pull also I can increase the size of the brush I can make this 
according to your choice. Alright. Can you shift? So I can reduce a bit of its strength over here. So there are many other options which you can use over here for this. Also you have uh, some shift options you can use it over here for that so let's give turbo smooth over here so you can use a bit of turbo smooth convert to editable poly you can again go over here push and pull So I'll just assign a basic material over here. So even if you want to work out more over here, I can use it. Let's go into the material. So, I'll just assign a material over here. So let's go into the diffuse bitmap and I'll assign a material. So I'll just assign a bit of reflection to it. Set up a UVW map. So as it has a spherical over here, it's going to give you such kind of a effect over here. You can definitely uh, increase this tiling if required. You can do that also. Or we'll just keep it to 1 is to 1 over here. So that's how you can create some bean bags over here. All right. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial.